Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Stock Trade Ideas for today. Today is Sunday, September 7th, 2014. So this is for the week of September 8th. We're going to talk about two trade ideas that we're currently in, Melco Crown Entertainment and Valero. We're going to talk about another one I'm looking at for tomorrow, which is Solar City, and then another one on my watch list, Apache. Okay, we're going to start off here with Melco. Melco, we uh, first got the signal and, and actually entered in here. Saw this late uh, on this uh, on the 3rd, which was, what, Wednesday morning. Um, actually got a signal on Wednesday. You could also have gotten in uh, on, uh, on Thursday morning uh, at the entry point down in here, which is right just a, just a few ticks above this low. Uh, it's so far as tracking up in here. It's struggling a little bit, but so did Rax on this same type of setup that we had. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm uh, optimistic. We have divergence in here, bullish divergence on the RSI. And if it breaks this trend line on the RSI, I think it's going to pop. Uh, we're getting bullish divergence on DI minus and on the demand index. So all three indicators are, are giving that signal. Um, I think we're going to get at least a move up here to this trend line, actually probably to the top of the uh, the Keltner channels and, and hit the 55, which would tie in with a low right here. Uh, yeah, right, right in there. And so if I had to, if I had to guess where we might start getting some resistance, if we can get this thing to move, I would guess it would be somewhere right up into this area. And um, so, you know what? I'm going to make that a dotted line so I can remember this. So that's that was be my first resistance area. We'll see where it is. I've, you know, I'll be exiting half the position before then. I've got a short, shorter term target. And again, all the specifics of this trade idea are on the trade ideas web page. And you need to be a subscriber to be able to access that page. And uh, it's just simple first name and email to uh, sign up. And you're following beyond the chart. And you get access to the Trade Ideas page, which has the details. So uh, that's a, a nice benefit. Okay, the uh, next one we're going to talk about, we'll watch Melco. And hopefully that will continue to work out, is Valero. Valero, we uh, got a sell signal here for the 4th. And we got an entry uh, on the 4th, which was Thursday. So now we're still tracking. A little pause here today, kind of, you know, up and down on Friday this last day. And we'll see, uh, you know, feel better when I get this 10-day breaking down below the 21. Uh, it looks to me like a large head and shoulders type pattern, okay? And there's a lot to there's a lot to reverse on this pattern. It looks like the top of five waves coming off of back here in uh, you know, October 2011, uh, and it looks like this five waves up from there. Uh, let me see if we've got anything. Yeah, I mean, it, you were doing a lot of sideways chop prior to that, and if you pick that as the zero point in here, uh, that's what I'm looking at. And even if you ignore Elliott waves, this looks like a classic head and shoulders type top to me. Um, Let's see if I could see anything else. We were getting divergence all along the top up here. Uh, we we're getting divergence in here. That's for the bottom. Um, not really seeing a whole lot more jumping out. Let me, let me uh, blow this up just a little bit. One thing I will point out, and we do have this trend line coming up here. So there's several things of confluence coming in. Okay, this trend line from back here in June of 2013, we've got a trend line, and that, that's right in here approaching the 50 mark, 49 to 50. Okay, and so several things. The bottom of the Keltner channel is right in here. The 233-day moving average is right in here, right about the 50. This trend line is slightly below the 50. Now, if we get down through this you know, that kind of potential resistance. And there was some, you know, congestion right around that point too. So that would be interesting to see. We break this trend line, then this uh, head and shoulders is confirmed. Okay, you've got to break the, the neckline in here. And if you break the neckline, 
Then the, the projection for the head and shoulders top is the distance from the top here to the neckline. You take it from where it breaks it right in here at the neckline and you measure that same distance down in here and this is my initial projection right now. So I'm not saying it's going to 38 right now. We've got some work to do before we get to that and it's got to break this neckline. Okay, but right now we're in with the trade idea here where we have got puts. Okay, again, we uh, all of the trade ideas I execute via options. I analyze stocks, I analyze the market, uh, but I like the power of options and that's what I use for trading the stocks. So uh, let's see, that's Valero. Uh, the next one, Solar City. Let's talk about that real quick. Solar City, I think we've got, look, let's look at all the trading. Okay, here's where it went public back in 2012. I think we've got five waves up, first primary wave. I think the second prime, uh, primary wave pullback here, a little over 50% pullback. Now I think it's trying to work its way higher. I originally thought this number two uh, might have ended over here, but the more I look at it, this looks like a nice little five wave strong up thrust move here for minor wave one. And although this looks, it's tempting to say this is two, uh, I don't like the way this is kind of meandering over here. So I think what we've got is an A, B, C flat going on. And when you get three waves for the initial wave, you usually start to think A, okay? And B, you will then pull back to the start of A, which was right here, and um, and sometimes go beyond it, which it did in this case. So right now I'm calling this a two, okay? But I like the way this has come back and on Thursday had a nice strong day on on uh, Solar City on Thursday. Nice strong move in here, 5.5 million shares traded, closing above the 10. Got a little inside day pause in here, and I'm looking for an entry that'll be above the high uh, up here. And again, the specifics will be on the Trade Ideas page. And if it hits that entry, I think it's going to, you know, it's got a shot at really going here. And I like the way this trend line is shaping up on the uh, on the RSI, which means this whole congestion part of the pricing uh, is looking as susceptible to a breakout, which I think is uh, is what's kind of forming here. Let me see. You got DI plus above DI minus. The demand index is positive. The RSI is slightly above 50. I like this reverse fish hook in here. When I see that, that tells me it looks like the next move is to the upside. Okay. You never know how long and how far it's going to go. But see, here's like a reverse fish hook. Okay. When the next day was up. Okay. You know, it wasn't, it didn't go and go. Well, here's a little reverse one too. So it's just little nuance that you look for in the indicator to see, you know, how they're, how they're trading. So right now, it, we get this entry and it gets this move. It breaks this trend line. Uh, then, you know, that's even more positive. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some bullish action on Solar City. And the last one I'm talking about is Apache is on my watch list. Apache has been really, it's going through a little um, uh, correction. And I think the correction's done. It's been correcting since uh, mid-June. Pull back over here. I think we again had a little ABC flat. Okay, you had a sharp correction back here, a zigzag. And again, this is all within the minor wave three. And again, we're working a large head and shoulders pattern on Apache. And if, if, for those of you who haven't been watching Apache, this is a large head and shoulders pattern. This is the neckline. It broke out of it here, and uh, now I think you know we've got. Intermediate wave one, two, I think we're working intermediate wave three, and this is one, two, three of intermediate wave three. So we're working our way up. It's acting strong. Right now, I am watching for a close back above the blue line, the 10-day exponential moving average. I'm watching for, um, it'll, so, so really, it's going to take a two-day signal in here, but the first, set, the first step, day one, I need to get that close back above the 10, okay? And, um, and the reason I didn't go in here where I started to get that type of action is I like seeing this pivot point, okay? I like seeing a pivot point where I can set up a trend line that it then breaks on the move. And it just seems like it's stronger when, it, when that happens. So 
that's what I'm looking for. We don't have a buy signal yet right now, uh, but it's on my watch list. Okay, that's it for today. That's the four stocks. And uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow uh, evening for the first day of uh, the week action and may an update on the trade ideas just to see where we're at and uh, how things acted and if, any, if Solar City got executed and how the others are doing. So this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Have a great rest of the weekend today and uh, have a great Monday, everyone.